Hey guys, this is Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about safety protocols for a coin show. Everything from getting to the hotel all the way through getting through the show and then going home. We hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope we find it useful. Let's get this video started. So as you know, we try to be safe, we try to do the right thing when we're working through coin shows if we're going to bring a lot of our inventory to sell. And so we're going to talk a little bit about what we do, especially in the hotel room. And if Casey wants to pan a little bit down, you see all the way down there, that's about the space between us and the door. So sometimes you want to get something that's like a suite so you can have that proximity in case someone wants to attack you or rob you um, while you're working through a show and being at the hotel room. We have a few hole punchers here with us today. We have one on each side of the bed. We also have another one that people should know about. If Casey comes this way some, um, this door can either be shut or it can be open depending on what you want and your preference. Um, the AC was blowing pretty loud last night, so I kept this door closed because if someone was to enter that door, the only, you know, I wouldn't really hear them with this AC, but if they try to get through this door, this one's locked, and it would make a noise that I would hear. So um, just walking this way a little bit, just got a little bit of a suite here, nothing too crazy. You know, maybe hang out here, reprice some coins when we get back from the show, um, talk about the show, kind of stuff like that. Um, but if someone's leaving or exiting the hotel room, you know, I had to go get the overnight bag this morning or Casey had to go drop off the cart. As soon as Casey exits this door with the cart, I'm instantly locking the door, of course. I'm locking this bolt, this bolt, and even when he comes back, I always try to check about five to 10 seconds to make sure it's just him by himself. Sometimes people, you know, use you and try to, you know, maybe arm, arm themselves and then use Casey as a prop to get through the door. So um, just a few things to think about. I wanna also talk about what we do when we go out to eat. Say this is your inventory backpack and the thing about shows is when you're actually setting up, I'm going to take a seat here. When you're actually setting up, you're, you know, you're going to have all your coins out. And then when you leave for the day, you're going to take them all with you. I would never leave them at the show. Someone else is, you know, there's a lot of security there, but someone else's future, you know, is, is de not dependent on them. So like if I'm talking about my future and I'm leaving it all up to these guards that make 20 bucks an hour and someone steals all my stuff, well, the guards are gonna say, oh, well, that's that's okay, it's your life, you figure it out. But for me, we like to keep it all in our hands, so um, that's exactly what we do. So when we go out to restaurants, we don't leave inventory in the car because that's bad. Because why, if someone followed you from the show, five minutes down the road to a, uh, somewhere to eat, you can get robbed. So what we do is we take our inventory, we, we walk in the restaurant, we order food, we sit down, and this is where the inventory stays the whole entire time that we eat. Um, and as we exit the restaurant, you know, there's someone accompanying us. And that's something that we talked about in a lot of videos too. If you're gonna go to a coin show, you need help. You need someone that's gonna be uh, able to escort you into the building with stuff, um, a business partner that's gonna be able to watch your table while you buy stuff. If you want a really successful show, there's a few other things that we're gonna talk about in this video, but make it a priority to be safe be on high alert, keep your head on a swivel, but let's get to the coin show. Let's show you guys exactly what we do to set up and also some procedures that we use as well. So we just stopped for food. We're gonna be parking the car closest to the building here. We're going to the garage to eat and uh, we're verifying can hole punchers be accepted in here? Is it open carry or concealed carry? Is there a 51% rule? All those things we'll talk about later in this video. So we just arrived at the Stony Creek Hotel for the Broken Arrow Coin Show. Going to be as close as we can to the building and the board floors right here. We're going to walk our inventory from this car where it is right now into the front door right here. Once that's inside, someone's going to stay with the bag, stay with the, the equipment that we have, and then someone else is going to go get the cases once we park the car just to make sure everything's safe. Great transportation. You don't want to park all the way back there. You know, take take some of your cases in, leave your inventory in the car, and then it gets stolen. So there's just ways to approach bringing inventory into a coin show. Let's show you inside. All right, so we're one of the first dealers in the show. Very important because 
you know, when everything's all going around and the commotion's happening, you don't want to, you know, get yourself distracted. And when other going dealers are coming in and then someone takes your stuff and walks out of the show. So being here first, allowing you to have plenty of time to get set up and then also work with other dealers when they come in after you, that's really great. Here's our table at the show. So got our two backpacks here, equipment, coins. And so this is where we're gonna set up our two cases. That's where we're going to set up deals. And uh, it's gonna be a really good show. I'm staying here with the inventory. Casey's gonna bring in the cases, make sure the car is locked, park it in the right spot. And uh, yeah, let's get this coin show started. Once we made it into the building, me and Casey, we're both here together. We have the cases. We're gonna start setting them up just so uh, one person can watch our surroundings, one person can set up. Um, just a lot more safe that way than normal ways of doing it. You don't want Casey to go out and mess around in the car and then me stay here and I'm setting up this stuff. Someone walks right by and picks up a, a box from you and then walks out of the show. So definitely good to have two people here while you're setting up. So here is our first purchase of the day at the Broken Arrow Coin Show. Uh, this is a 1925S California commemorative. Uh, try to pick up on this, Casey. It's uh, graded MS67 plus by PCGS. Casey has a giant smirk on his face. I have a giant smirk on my face because I just sold this coin in a 65 holder a month and a half ago for four grand. So. Bought it back today because I love the coin and uh, yeah, I'm in shock. I didn't. The guy that I bought it from, he said I'm gonna get in a 68 holder, and he got in a 67 plus holder first try. So uh, yeah, comment what your thoughts are on PCGS and uh, what's happening. So it's, this is uh, very interesting. Great pickup at the Broken Arrow Coin Show. I just got back from the Broken Arrow Coin Show day one. And uh, something that I want to ask future people that kind of make coin shows for others, a lot of the time where all these issues happen is in terms of people stealing or taking advantage of somebody is when they're loading in in a coin show or they're, or they're leaving a coin show. And so sometimes it's best to have a few days before or a day before where dealers can come in, set up their stuff, um, understand the layout of the place before somebody else would come there that only has to pay a $3 admission. For, fortunately enough, Broken Arrow Coin Show has done that for us this time, and I think that's pretty cool. Today we were able to go in, show you guys a little bit of the show, set up, tear down, and also just check our surroundings. Uh, something I didn't mention earlier about the hotel room, so we got Casey's side here, me here, um, for, for uh, everything that's going on. When you're thinking about keeping your coins safe or the furthest away from somebody wanting to grab them, you have to kind of put certain barriers between you and them and the coins. And so I kind of broke our room down into four barriers. We have one barrier, which is the main door. We have two barriers, which is this door also. And the third barrier would be Casey, right? So if, if they came through this door, Casey would be here with his hole puncher ready. And then I would be the fourth barrier to entry, which is on this side of the bed. And so people ask, where should you put your coins? In my opinion, you should put it the furthest from the door, but also easiest within reach. So if someone's coming in all the way through that door and I'm the last person, the last barrier before they would take our stuff, I should have it on my side and I should be ready to go. Uh, come on this way a little bit. Another thing that we also used to do is include, you know, maybe move some furniture in front of the door. 
I know that's against fire hazard and all that stuff, but it doesn't really matter to me. So if we were to, you know, uh, say we were carrying something for somebody else or we had $250,000 in coins, we don't, thankfully, we might need to put some stuff in front of the door or, you know, in this hallway right here that would hold people back as well. Just some things to think about, but let's go back into here real quick. Um, I wanted to thank you guys though for watching today's video, talking a little bit about the safety procedures of the show. A lot of this was kind of, uh, you know, out of pocket for us. We normally just like to talk about coins and everything else, but with everything that's going on, we try to be more transparent and help you where we can. Uh, if you guys do like videos like this, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts um, on things maybe we should add or things that we didn't pick up on that other people can learn from, and subscribe if you're new. We're coming out with a uh, post broken arrow show uh you know coin haul what do we buy um it's gonna be some crazy coins so make sure to keep an eye out for that video but we will see you in the next one